It is a busy time of year for churches as they prepare for Christmas celebrations, but a holiday Scrooge decided to throw a wrench in one Akron church's plans by stealing a really important piece of the church's property. Yeah, but that church may have just received a Christmas miracle of its own when Ohio companies stepped up to help replace what was taken. I stopped by the church today to learn more about what was lost and the acts of generosity that they experienced. <laughs> It's not surprising to hear the sound of bells at a church. But it is a sound the congregation at Arlington Church of the Nazarene wasn't sure they'd hear again for a while. And we realized it was five o'clock and there was no music. So we went out to look, we looked up on the roof and the, the, basically the speaker system was gone. A few weeks ago, Pastor Daryl Frazier made an awful discovery. The bolts were removed, the wires were cut, and someone had taken them. Someone had climbed the roof, went into the bell tower, and stole the church speakers. It just runs wires up to the roof. Part of a high-tech system that plays bells and songs. The speakers were only about eight months old and worth thousands of dollars. My thought was, who's going to climb on the roof and take our speakers? Church board member June Gleason loved listening to the hymns the speakers played, telling her friend about the theft. While well, that friend has a generous son who owns a company in Stowe. When he says, Mom, they're going to have bells. We're going to make sure they have bells for Christmas. So he was kind enough to and generous enough to do that. That man and his company donated the $2,500 needed to replace the speakers. And a company called Chime Master agreed to provide the $1,000 installation for free. You see, God works in ways often unexpected and often sometimes slower than we might expect, but sometimes a lot faster than we might expect as well. And the timing of this gift is nothing short of a Christmas miracle. It's a blessing. It's, it's something that everybody can enjoy, and it's it's just the beauty of Christmas. Well, I did reach out to Craig Brazelton at the Pro Z Group. He is the man who donated the $2,500 for the replacement speakers. He tells me the reason he did it is simple. His mom has friends at the church and he just wanted to help. Also, the company Chime Master, who donated that installation, they've actually helped this church before. They provided the original set of speakers to the church at a discounted rate. So, so many people here stepping up, helping again in some cases to make sure that this church has what it needs to celebrate Christmas. Oh my gosh, and I'm sure there's so much relief from that church mm -hmm. and all those parishioners and those running the church. What a good story. Yeah, yeah, yeah it really is such an important time, you know, for the right. churches. Yeah, because, right. you know, and music is a huge part of the holiday season. Huge. So. Yeah, and before anyone gets any ideas, they are taking measures. I'm not going to specify what, but they are taking measures to make sure that those speakers are harder to get to this time. Okay. Good. Yep. Mm -hmm. Good note there.